Hello Dragonites, this is Dragonheart and welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to part 20 of the Aravaki campaign for Total War, Rome 2, Hannibal at the Gates. Now, in the previous episode we declared war on the Viscones in the north. If you look at the diplomacy screen here, we'll see that we have taken uh, some of their land here in Galatia. And all the red is the Viscones land. I'm hoping this part we can have a couple of battles with them and try to slowly take them out. So we're at the end of the end turn phase from last time. Let's have a quick look at my my forces. So pretty decent force here, full strength. This one is slightly bloodied on the nose but we will uh, hopefully replenish and they can move on from Astoriga. I'm going to try and take Palantia next I think. <laughs> Meanwhile over here I have an army in Numantia itself. We are currently recruiting a unit can't afford anything else. They do have a spy, you have to watch out for that. Like They'd be stupid to attack Nemantia with this army and the, the garrison which is there, which is 12 units, which is pretty good for me. So I'm probably going to go for Salduba with them. And also we have some friends over here, the Sesitani. Now I'm currently trading with them, as you can see here. And they are the same blood. Now hopefully I'll try to amalgamate them into my into my cause, into my faction in the future. But anyway, Enough of me talking, let's end turn. And while I end turn, I'll ask you guys how your day is. Are you enjoying yourselves? Is it evening time where you are? Is it uh, night time? Is it the early hours of the morning? And uh, let me know what your plans are for today. It's currently uh, night time here in the UK. I do most of my recordings in the night. I find it easier because of uh, people in the house, people causing noise. Subversion, okay. Numantia. Oh, what's this over here? Shit. The Viscones. Ah, they're in force march. I don't like this. Portus Aminum might be might be coming under siege before long. Where's that ship of mine? Shit, 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 shit. shit. Oh, wait. I moved the ship, didn't I? Uh-oh. Here is my ship. Uh, let's, just, let's just dock them in the Lissipo for now. Eventually they'll go to Gades. Uh, didn't think of this through, did I? Whoopsie, whoopsie. Uh, let's see. Okay, there. Tolotum, Helmantica. Helmantica is fine. Palantia, Astorica. What to do? They're in force march. Both of them. Both fairly big units as well. I can recruit with this army. Or I could hire mercenaries with this army. Let's get the movement range. Oh, just out of range. However, I could carry on over here. Let's see. If I go to there, okay, and then go into fortify. That's the first thing I'm going to do. It blocks them going down this road. They've got to come past me, and I can attack them from a fortified position. Next up, I need to recruit some units here. Now we are short on cavalry, so I'll get a unit of cavalry, and I shall get a unit of. Iberian Swordsman. Next I shall get some mercenaries from this army. So we got cavalry here but we want something else. So how about mercenary Scutari? So we can get two of them. We can actually afford a unit of Iberian Slingers. There we go, that looks better. We're, it's going to cost us a lot of money, we're not going to have much money next turn. Not too bothered at the moment though. I want to see what they do. I want to know if they're going to attack me here. If they go for Portus Aminum, this army can go up there and attack there. And I should have enough here to deal with them at Palantia. Meanwhile, in Numantia itself, this army is looking pretty good. Oh, but did I, if I had more money, I would recruit here. I may actually come to that. I wish I had a... It's my spy. My spy... Is my spy here? There it is. Right, this spy needs to go up here instead now. It's going back this way. Need to see what's happening in Salduba. If it's not a very big settlement for garrison, I might just go straight for it with the uh, nine units in the Heralds of Anticina. I think I can probably end turn again though. For the time being. Just to see how things go. Just having a drink while the end turn is going. Can of Vimto. Oh, right. Right, this is what I wanted. As anticipated, they've attacked me in a fortified stance. They've come at me with a full stack, by the looks of things. 
Oh my, it's going to be difficult. But we shall attack them. We shall see what happens. Hey guys, so welcome back. We'll start the battle. My cavalry is sure behind the lines. I'm going to bring them right out to drag them away from the town. I'm hoping they attack me from the front. I have actually got my barricades, my sharp stones and my stakes in case they they have cavalry. I don't think they do though, unfortunately. Let's have a look. I can't see any cavalry there. What's this over here? Nope, no cavalry, right, so that's not going to help us too much. I've actually logged myself into this this kind of uh, pathway here, into a shield screen with two units, with two more units of Iberian Spearmen as the supporting unit behind them. I don't think these two are going to be needed here, so I might actually bring them across with my general. My slingers you can actually come out here. Like so. Right click them for quick reload, they can do it automatically. And my cavalry we're gonna take control of in this battle. So first things first, must locate where their skirmishers are, and as expected, they are exposed behind their lines. Got five of them along by here. Gonna have to watch out for the general, but I think we can do okay. Now if I can do well with my cavalry, then I got a good chance in this battle. <laughs> Let's go along. Oh, what's over here? I see something. What is this? It's a deer. My oh my. Hello. Oh, hello, little cute deer. How are you? What nice legs you have. Okay, enough of that. <laughs> I, I find it quite funny how uh, CA work quite hard on the animals in this game. It does make me laugh sometimes to think about it. I'm assuming they're all going to go for the front. If that's the case, I can actually flank around by here with these units. And then my cavalry is going to actually go towards, towards them. We're going to try and work out how to, we can pick them off one by one, like a sniper rifle. So take this one out, then this one, then this one, and so on. But I'm going to have to rush in, then rush straight back out with my Iberian cavalry. While I do that, these units can actually go there. My general is going to go behind the main, the main line. Here we go, they're going to engage us here now. Oh my, this is going to be horrible. Oh, look at the sh uh, how many heads there are. Shit. Right, this is good. Oh, I've got frenzy charge. Now I've got it. I'm going to go for all of these skirmishers behind their lines there. I'm going to actually send this unit out as well to help and flank around. Right, ignore that unit. They, they're routed in. They're broken. They're done for. Concentrate on the next. Get all my skirmishers to attack the general from behind our wall while we hold them up there. Get these units to attack now. Frenzy charge straight into them. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Take them all out behind their lines like I anticipated. While we deal with them here, this unit can now flank around like so. Both these units can flank around. I, don't, I should commit to all of them actually. Here we go. Cavalry racking up the kills. Haven't lost a single unit, a single man in my cavalry. The only men I've lost so far are my Iberian spearmen, which are in the front line. And ten men from my experience spearmen here. These units are going to go into shield screen as well as I flank around. My slingers are coming around as well. Where's this unit going? Where the hell are you going? Come out here, you fool. I'm going to hit them in the rear there. My cavalry is now finishing up the slingers. It's going well, it's going really well. There we go, lovely jubbly. Go for a frenzy. And watch the action. Here we go. We're flanking them. This is what I wanted. Kill them all. Die for the king of Iberia. If there was a king. There we go. Lovely. That's what I wanted there. Just going to send one cavalry unit for them. Bring these two behind here. I'm going to have to watch out because of the stakes, of course. My own, my own uh, weakness, really. Matter of fact, we can destroy this barricade and hit them on the flank there. This unit needs to hurry up and get here to help out. Cavalry is going to destroy the barricade soon, hopefully. Doing well. Now it's time to get my general involved as well, so we'll get the the rally going. There we go, lovely jubbly. And we shall inspire uh, the front unit here. Barricades are destroyed. Send that unit of cavalry up there. I'm going to send these cavalry units to the side here. 
we are actually drawn some of the swordsmen out, I think. Nope, they're routing. These men are routing, that's good. Doing exactly what I wanted. We're going to pen them, pen them into here. All this bullshit's going to pen them right in. I've got fresh units waiting by here as well, which goes in my favour. Once we get frenzy charge going, we'll be fine. I'm going to let this unit carry on killing them. They have nearly they have 200 kills, that's good. Good for me, 200 kills. They're completely gone now. Let's bring them back. I'm just going to ignore these men that are out in. Don't need to worry about these. Probably kill them automatically when they come past. Get this unit over here as well. Little bird flying across the screen. Thought you could attack the bird for a second then. <laughs> it would be quite funny if you could. Right, cavalry is in position, I think. All of them are. There we go. They are out in. 3, 2, 1. Go for a charge. We're going to go for a frenzy charge when we get in range. This unit's going to attack them there. Get frenzy going as well. And we'll get our charge going. The stakes are not this side, so we're okay to charge straight in. Here we go, straight into them. Oh, straight away, routing. <laughs> Hyperion swordsmen are routing straight away. And the general is fucked. Oh my god, look at this. We're gonna continue the battle for the time being. I wanna kill that general. Right, let's get the cavalry out. I will end battle in a second, but I want that general dead. Where is he? Which one is he? Which one is he? Scutari Spearman. Let's get in there. Don't know which one it is. <laughs> which one's the general? Where is he? Oh, there he was. Great seven. I'm gonna fast forward this guys, because I know this can be a bit tedious. Oh my god, this is brilliant. Cavalry time to charge, where is he gone? They've gone everywhere, I can't keep up with them. Right, that's the general, but they're these ones. Cavalry's gonna come in and help out as well. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Beautiful. Don't want them to respawn on the map, see? Take as many out as possible. Four left. This way, guys, this way. Boom. Right, they're going to end the battle there, guys. Good battle. Heroic victory. Only lost 238. Completely wiped out this army. This will help us out big time in this campaign. Hopefully. Release the captives. I do that so I can keep the relations good with other factions. Oh, look at this, they've attacked here. I'm not going to fight this because look at the odds compared to them. It wouldn't make for good viewership. Ooh, they have a scorpion though. Right, so we'll auto-resolve this. Uh, protective gives us the most, so we'll go for that. Boom. You, you're messing with the wrong person. Ooh, right in the gut. Blood everywhere. And I'm going to release them again to keep my relations good, to show that I'm a fair person. Military traditions, excellent. Subversion. Oh my. Now, oh, let's see. So I can probably go for Palantir with this army now. First things first, let's get the traditions going. So, morale for all units to an ambush. Weapon damage inflicted by missile. Sword armed, one sword armed, because that's what most of our army is composed of. This army will be going for Salduba soon, but I want to get my spy up there. So let's get the spy going. Oh, it takes him. It's gonna take him a good two turns. That's a shame. Can I recruit any more spies? Let's have a look. I can have two spies, but I don't think I can afford it. No, they cost so much money, don't they? Damn, 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 damn. Right, we're looking good though. Asterica is ours. We have a big stack, which is replenishing here. I have an army down here in Helmantica. If I take them out, though, they will be pissed off. Oh, they're only on neutral. That's good. I can use this army then. Let's keep them there for the time being, get that public order down just a little bit more. Maybe even recruit one or two more units, or maybe upgrade it, maybe not. The public order which I built here will 
definitely puts in good stead going forward. This army is just the remnants of what Portus Aminum defeated. And Palantia only has 11, so I think this army is going to be going for them. I'll probably recruit some units and we'll go straight to it. So I'm going to put them into a stance like so. I'm also going to recruit some some more mercenaries just for this one battle I'll probably disband them after the battle so Scutari are good Slingers are good, we'll hire them and in the next part I will be using this army to try and take out Palantia and I'll be using this army to try and take out Sal Duba but I'm going to end the episode there I hope you've all enjoyed, I've been Dragonheart until next time, goodbye